There's a deal there, you know, so I've been speaking to uh, Avram, and, uh, you know, all throughout this, uh, this, so, you know, the, the, the dealings, that, but the chairman's dealing with that as well, it's, it's not, it's, it's, I've had no dealings with it at all, except speaking to Avram about that, I think he, he didn't, wasn't sure what was going on himself with it all, but I just said to him, look, if you don't want to sell them, Avram, we won't get involved, we'll, you know, if you, but he said we need to sell them, Harry, because the situation at the club, we need to make we need to make the sales because to, otherwise we're in trouble. So someone's going to someone's got to come up with some money anyway. And the young keeper I signed when I was there, I like him as me. He's got so terrific potential. You know, he's not the finished article, but he's a good young goalkeeper. And Kabul, I took Kabul from here, and I think he's an improved player since he's, he's been at uh, Portsmouth. He's, He's, you know, 18 months older, he's more experienced, and he's done well this year for him. And they need to sell him. That is the, that is the, the top and bottom of it all, and I think that's why, you know, as I said, if Avram had said to me that, you know, I want to keep him, then, you know, I would have said to the chairman, I really don't want to take him. When will those deals I don't know. I, you know, again, Daniel's doing with that. It's, his, it's not my, you know, he deals with that. He's talking to the people at Portsmouth, and... Uh, we're you know, trying to do a deal with them, really. That's about where we're at. The ball can play several positions. He can play right back. He can play holding midfield player. And he can certainly play centre half. So I just felt, I think he's a young player who's at last realising his potential. When I first watched him and followed him at all day, I was, I watched him several times, you know, when he was at all day, And I thought he'd be in the French team on a regular basis by now. But uh, <coughs> he didn't do that. But uh, I'd be keen to bring him back if the deal's right for everybody, you know, it's got to be right. We're not trying to buy him on the cheap, you know, I think that, you know, we're buying, we're paying whatever the going rate is for him. Yeah, that's been, that's been done, he had a medical yesterday and uh, so he's joined us, you know, I'm pleased to have him. He's, he's a player I've always admired, we've been after him for a couple of weeks, we were, we were chasing him. Um, and then obviously West Ham came in, you know, but before the takeover we were hot on the trail of a ride and we had contact with his, his people. So I think he can play several positions. I think he's a fantastic footballer, a clever footballer, and I think he'll be a, a good player for us. It's his decision. You know, I rang him, uh, to be fair, I left a message, you know, um, and said, look, I heard if, if you're down the road with West Ham, you know, Zola and, and Steve Clark are friends of yours, don't fall out with them. I get on great with David Sullivan, I don't want to go about any asset with him either. I said, if that, you know, but he came back, he said, look, Harry, it's my choice. You know, I want to come to Tottenham. So that was where it was at. He can play several positions, I think, you know. He had a great spell at Chelsea when he played in a, in mid, you know, in a five-man mid or three-man midfield with two wide and one up and Chelsea were very successful. They had a great spell playing in there. He can play lots of positions. He gives you options with your, with your system. Um, you know, I think you, and he's a, a top player in my opinion. You, know, you don't play Barcelona and play in Champions League, you know, like he did in a flat Chelsea, and, unless you're a top player. Run with no, he's got a groin strain. He, he, you know, he came on last week and obviously did well in the cup, scored a good goal, picked up a groin strain that's going to keep him out for another week probably. Um, but he's here. We don't want. We're not. We're not keen to sell him. I know Birmingham are interested. Yeah, I think they've been speaking. You know, probably spoke to. They've not been speaking to me. They've been speaking with the chairman. But I don't know anything, anything about uh, local motor Moscow. I don't know if there's any interest from 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 Russia at all. I'm not sure about that. You know, if they don't want to go, you can't push them anywhere they don't want to go these days. So, but we're we're happy with him. You know, he came back in good form last week. As I've said before, if he continues to play that way, and uh, we haven't got a problem. He's a good player. Technically, he's a terrific player. They're a tough team to beat there. They're, you know, he's done great, Alex McLeish. Yeah, he's done a great job. And uh, it'll be a tough game. You know, Birmingham's quite an intimidating place to go. We've got to go there and play well. If we do that, we've got a big chance. You know, we, we had a terrific result, I felt, against Fulham. It's not an easy game with Fulham. No one gets an easy game with them. So, it's a big game for us. But, uh, Do you know either go straight into the team? No, I think he needs a week or so with us, really, you know, to get him up to speed and uh, getting used to everybody. I wouldn't want to just, you know, we're not desperately short of players that I need to throw him straight in without letting him get a feel for the place. That's what we'll, we'll take our time with them.